Hey folks, Darren Scorza here. Hey, what's going on? Just thought I'd come to you, uh, to the my drum woodshed channel with a little video. Uh, it's kind of fun. I haven't posted here a lot, and uh, I'm too busy practicing stuff uh, to post some more training videos, so I, I thought I'd put this up today. Uh, this is how uh, I go uh, through the process of learning maybe a gig, uh, such as what I have coming up this week, um, traveling to... Uh, different parts of Illinois to play this theater show and uh, I've played it once before it was a long time ago and I, I don't quite frankly remember it so uh, what I did is I, I, I uh, agreed to do it you know and then I got a bunch of emails from the bass player who's on the gig that has charts and then video links to the show so uh, the charts are obvious you know you, you, you bundle them up you uh, sort them and then you print them out and I got them different places but here I'm just going to show you some maybe some tips to think about mostly for students you know you pros all know this but uh some little tips you could use your technology to your advantage so I also got a, a, a list of YouTube links uh, to to clips of the show which will prove easier for me to kind of do my own rehearsal so we'll go to that link but that's not a whole lot of fun to kind of go and, and check out, you know, go to YouTube for, for every part of the show. So for the Mac, I know there's many different apps, but I have found that this little app called Clip Grab is great, okay? Because you can open that up, and then you can paste that YouTube link in. It works with a lot of different video content, but mostly uh, YouTube links. Do it in, you can rip it. I think we all know about how to rip video so I ripped those four videos off let me get rid of all this okay and then the next step is is to kind of you know now I have seven videos of this show still not exactly what I want in terms of uh, you know rehearsing and stuff so what I've also found out is you know I could drop these all in a Final Cut Pro and do all that but that's kind of a hard working kind of thing uh, if you open up your videos in QuickTime player that's the first video okay that's what I might start was with you can then go up and add clip to end and then it'll bounce you out to the finder and you can grab the second video paste it in choose media and now you can see that it's added that one to the next one so you can stack up videos in QuickTime without having to kick out to a video editor so I save all that okay I already did that so I'm not gonna save that and now I've made my my completed video so now it's time to kind of practice so I go over to the charts uh, I arm my, uh, I set up my rig the way I'm going to set it up for the show uh, with my uh, endorsers be damned. I have the kind of the uh, United Nations here of symbols, Sabian, Peisty, Bosphorus, Zildjian, you name it. I love them all. So uh, I got my setup. Um, I'm going to bring that, that set up and then I'm not going to bring a second floor Tom. So it works as what it normally does as a mouse pad, pencil holder, headphone holder. Uh, so now I'm, I'm watching a video over here, and I get all my charts, and I just start running through the show. Uh, normally what I do is I'm going to look at the charts. Now they may have a book, but I'm going to do this anyway, because I'm going to highlight some things, make some notes, as you can see here. That's a little different. There's some other highlights. I know what I have to cue. I'm knowing like what, you know, three verses. Uh, that kind of thing. And then as I go through the charts and through the show, watching the video, just tuck it over to the left hand, left hand side here. I also will take a, a jotting down kind of the set list here with some notes and some entrances, which I will transfer to computer later. Uh, two keys here uh, for you students that you might want to know is one, uh, I know I know all these songs, so I don't have to listen through the fumbles too. So as soon as I hear the changes to like nice work to you can get it, uh, until you can get it, I know how to pull up. The second thing is, really pay attention in those jazz theory classes, or even if you're not a jazz vibe player or anything like that, and you're a drummer, to the harmony stuff. Because when you get charts like this with no lyrics, it's really good to be able to list, look at chord changes and kind of know where you are. So when I see the two fives coming up on this walk up on here, I know where I'm at in the chart. So pay attention to that stuff. So that goes over there. Uh, you see I have a couple of more charts here to kind of, uh, I've gotten about four-fifths through the show here right now. And I call this whole moment of discovery. Like I said, I'm just putting notes down, doing that kind of thing. I'll get through the rest of this piece on this video. Like I said, I'm piping it in. Headphones. I also have my 
uh, met, uh, my phone usually connected uh, so I can tap tempo. However, I know that the music director on this one is traveling with the group, so I probably won't be in charge of a lot of tempo count ops, maybe one or two, which will work out at rehearsal. That's kind of it. That's discovery. I'm going to go take a break, take a shower, eat some lunch, and then uh, later today, I'm going to stack up the charts and uh, just play along to the video. And that kind of gets me rehearsed and ready to go in what would probably be probably about an hour or two, maybe once I'm done with that, maybe two and a half hours work, which I think is uh, a good amount of preparation for any gig. And that's what I kind of also want to preach. Uh, you know, some of you pros I know all do this, but I've got, been on some gigs where some people come in and they've gotten charts, they've gotten stuff, they haven't even looked at it. I think two and a half hours, if somebody's paying you good money to do something, I think two hours, two and a half hours is a good way to do it. And especially if they have supplied you with all the materials, even though this was kind of a loose collection of all the materials, it's a good idea to get your act together and uh, get yourself in front of your drums and also take some, take some notes. Okay? And... Of course, you can listen to the video, watch the video, listen to what the drummer did on that, and of course try to improve on it. Not that there was anything bad on there, but you bring your you bring your sauce to the game. All right, that's all I got. There you go. That's how I prepare for a theater show, uh, and I'm very thankful to have gigs at this point because it's nice to have gigs coming back. See you later.